Hey guys, Joshua Bainsek. I want to show you just a quick little video, hopefully quick video, that shows the new SwiftKey beta that just was released. I'll have a link in the description of where you can download it from. And just once you get a downloader, just hit install. It's going to install. And I was able to play around with this just before, you know, just a little bit just to see some of the new features. I uninstalled it so I can show you guys from start to finish of what everything looks like. And off the bat, the home screen or front page of SwiftKey, it actually reminds me of iOS 7, which is kind of interesting to me being Android, but that's all good. iOS 7 looks cool for the most part. But yeah, here's a enable SwiftKey beta. So you're just going to check that off, hit OK. It's going to take you back and you're going to then select, whoops, select SwiftKey beta as your default. And then we're going to go to better predictions. And this is going to kind of show you the personalization that it does. And if you're not familiar with SwiftKey, it remembers and um, kind of predicts your habits of typing. So just really cool. SwiftKey has been my number one keyboard for many years now. I've tried others and it just doesn't seem like other ones live up to it. Um, so here's, you know, it will take from your Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, other email accounts. You can back it up to the cloud so you can sync it with other devices, which is stinking amazing to me um, that you're able to do that. That way you just don't have to start over. It has everything remembered and it also now remembers trending uh, phrases, which is awesome. Um, just really cool stuff. Uh, so sign in with Google. And then you can get to your languages. And here's an update available. So update that real quick. English US for me. Hit back and then you can also be taken to your themes. And I actually like the Cobalt theme the best. The next one that I like the best is Holo but I kind of like that flat look. Now here is something that's really cool is the numbers row, which is a new feature. And that's basically, you're going to get like a dedicated um, top row of numbers, which is just awesome to me. Um, so here you can see the numbers right there. Where beforehand you would hit the basically shift or option, then you get your numbers over on this side. So now it's a shortcut up at the top, which is just awesome to me. It just saves that extra step, going to make typing that much easier. And so you can long press for your emo cons or emoji, however you want to call it. So you get your smileys here, some different icons, just really cool stuff. You got some different options here, more items and whatnot. Actually, there's quite a bit to choose from, which is just pretty sweet. Some symbols, then your standard smileys. Then you can go back to your keyboard. Now, one of the things that I found that was just really cool is like as you're typing, it'll predict an, an emoji for you. So let's say, like I was, let's see, when I was trying to type a while ago, let's say chicken, I think was one of them. See, there's chicken icon that comes over on the side. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what else comes up. Egg or pepper. Eggplant, I guess that's what that is. Uh, let's see. Um, you can just kind of play around with stuff and see what icons come up. So that's just a really awesome little thing. Um, then there's something else. Looks like you can share. That's really cool. Let's go to Twitter, see what it does. Huh, that's just really cool. Neat feature. So yeah, this new SwiftKey beta, that's just, that's pretty cool to me. There's a lot of different features. And if you want to, you can hit the settings up at the top right corner, which is going to take you to your full list of settings. You got Lee feedback, SwiftKey Cloud, and this is going to be where it has your account information, your backup of sync, personalization. This is where it will learn from your Gmail, learn from your texts, learn from Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. And it just helps your typing experience that much better. 
Um, you got languages, theme, layout. We already did that. Sound and vibration. I don't like vibration. I don't like a key press sound, so I turn that off. Input methods. You're going to want flow. That kind of gives that little flowy little light that slides as you're typing. An advanced text correction. I like the quick period, the double tap the space bar. And then emo Jai predictions. That's where that is found. So really cool stuff. You got notifications if you like up the top here. You notice the Swift key SMS personalization succeeded. So yeah, that's basically the overview of the new Swift key beta. If you have questions about this, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to try to help you out. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.